This video will teach you how to do rib raising in the supine position, which is another OMM technique that I'll be teaching you today. Now, like rib raising in the lateral coming position, we're going to be finding the rib angles. However, we're going to be doing this on the side closest to us. We're doing this to increase the circulation and respiration of the patient. Now, the mechanism for how this happens is that just underneath or internal to those rib angles lies the patient's sympathetic chain. So we are trying to stimulate that sympathetic chain and the surrounding tissue by uh, manipulating and uh, feeling those rib angles and, and raising them, for lack of a better term. Uh, so we have our patient in a supine position because we are doing rib raising in the supine position. We're going to take our hands like this, and they're going to work in symphony with one another, and they're going to be doing this motion together at the same time. Now what we're going to be doing is I'll be feeling underneath the patient to those rib angles, which again are the, the points of the th rib bends, points built along the patient's back, and the patient can just relax once your hands are underneath there, and you're going to work up and down the patient's back along those rib angles, doing that motion that I just showed you how to do. So pulling out and towards you, or out and away for the patient. Another way to think of that motion would be anterior and lateral on the patient, using both hands along those rib angles, trying to stimulate the tissues underneath, specifically the sympathetic chain. Through a complicated mechanism, this will increase circulation and respiration for the patient. It's great for pre-op care and post-op care. And this is rib raising in a supine patient, supine position. You want to do this for about 20 to 30 seconds.